Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to answer a question from Sean Hoffman, KO4IDY. And here's what he has to ask. He says, hey Dave, I love your channel and watch all the time. Well, thank you. I have a question that maybe you can help me with. I am a captain on a ship and would like to set up my station on board. Okay, now, uh, we don't need to really uh, look at the rest of this because uh, I want to draw a picture here. So I'm going to move this up to where we can see the whole screen. He's the captain of a ship, a real ship, the kind of ship that sails the seven seas. So in honor of it, we'll draw it in purple. Okay, he's got a ship. It's water. And he says from the top of the mast, you know, there's all the infrastructure up here and everything. From the top of the mast to the water line is 114 feet. So it's a, it's a ship. And he wants to know if he can put an antenna on this and use the ship itself as a ground plane. And the answer is absolutely yes. This whole thing is made of steel. Okay. And it's all welded together. So it's well bonded. And no matter, you know, there's uh, the water line goes down here. You've got the propeller out here, which is usually brass. And through that and through many other ways, even though this is very thoroughly painted, you're going to have contact between seawater and the metal and therefore an outstanding ground. Okay, so if you have uh, an antenna, there's a couple ways of doing this. One from the mast, string some wire with some standoffs, run some ladder line, and you can run that on any band, okay, uh, including 160, okay. Now, another way to do it is the way the Navy has studied doing it, and that is somewhere on the ship's superstructure. It doesn't have to be above everything, but can be. Mount, uh, they do it with an eight foot um, mast, not mast, eight foot whip. You can make it 20, you can make it whatever you want. And then feed it with a tuner right at the base. Okay, and then all of this is mounted to the ship. And this, you don't need to run counterpoises or anything. The reason for the tuner right at the bottom of the antenna is because that will provide the loading necessary to make this thing resonant on whatever frequency that you want. Now, um, you might go longer on that. Get this kind of in the clear, recognizing that any other uh, parts that protrude up above it on the ship are going to block the signal in that direction. So you'll have a funny pattern. If the ship is right here, your pattern's going to be largely on the sides. Okay. Um, put the tuner right there at that, and uh, you can get remote tuners from MFJ, LDG, ICOM, Yesu. Uh, all kinds of people have remote tuners. Uh, that can be made to work in this type of a situation. Now this will not be broadband. So if you look on your waterfall, you're only going to see a few kilohertz on each side of that. And then when you retune or, or tune the radio to a new signal, you're going to have to retune the antenna. So this is very narrow band, but it does work. And it can work about as well as a dipole. And uh, the best thing that will work as well as a dipole is a dipole. So uh, if you can just put up a dipole somewhere, uh, you'll be in good shape. Um, you'll be in a, a salt spray environment, and so corrosion is your enemy. Uh, note that you have copper coming into contact with dissimilar metals in an antenna. Make sure that um, you've got them protected from the elements and recognize that you're probably going to have to replace that antenna every couple of years anyway, just because of the salt corrosion. So, Captain Sean, there you go. I hope that helps. Boy, I look forward to working from your Maritime Mobile. 
and uh, have a good time with ham radio out on the high seas. Um, I guess ships don't have radio operators anymore, otherwise the radio operator could set you up with uh, just what you need. So, there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly can. Go to www.dcastler.com support, and there are a variety of ways there. Maybe something works for you. And uh, if you're not in a position to do that, that's just absolutely fine. You can subscribe, and just the fact that you've subscribed indicates to YouTube that this is a channel worth watching. Thank you very much for your time, and until we next meet, 73.